Are you ready to start building your wealth? Invest in cattle. The Komu is in Komu. South African investment company SV Capital is on a mission to make investing straightforward and accessible to everyone, especially young adults who are looking to build wealth. Launched in 2017 by chartered accountant and financial analyst Ayanda Majola and wealth management specialist Kahiso Klobatla, the company is taking a strictly local approach by allowing clients to invest as little as 500 rand in a herd of cattle. Klobatla now joins me for a chat. Kahiso, good afternoon. Welcome to today, and thank you very much uh, for your time. Wow. I mean, when I saw this, I thought, what a brilliant idea. But it's got its challenges. I mean, uh, when you manage a herd of cattle, uh, it's not easy, especially with challenges of, of climate change. But what brought this about for you? Why go this route? Uh, thanks, Dan. Um, thank you for having me on your show. Um, I think yeah, to, to concur with what you're saying, it does have its challenges, but um, myself, Fayanda, and the SB Capital team have really uh, worked hard to try and mitigate as much risk as possible in this kind of investment by partnering with um, some of the, the best farmers in the country. You know, one of the farmers that we partner with, which is our main farmer, is a company called Beef Core, and they're one of the largest feedlots in, in, in the country. But what, why we wanted to give uh, people the ability to invest in cattle is that, you know, myself and Anna, coming from a, an investment banking background, found ourselves, you know, working in a space where the products were purely designed for people that have a lot of money and also people that, you know, from a literacy level, have a very good understanding of how financial instruments work. We wanted to really simplify it and create something for everyone. So we thought, why not you know, use a symbolism of wealth that's always been on this continent, being cattle. You know, our forefathers have built wealth using cattle, so we wanted to, to bring that to the market and give the everyday man in the street, as well as you know, a CEO of a JSE-listed company, the ability to invest in a product like this. Yeah, I mean, cattle has, has long been a symbol of wealth, as you say, in our country, and also very useful. Uh, and it's really part of that, of that culture. But from an investment perspective, you said you work with various partners. You've mentioned one of them. What does the person, that 500 rand, buy them? So the 500 rand buys them... Um, uh, it buys them a share or buys them a, a portion of ownership in a herd. So what we have done is we, we have made it affordable by using the methodology, same methodology as the stock files use, um, and giving people the ability to contribute a little amount but in order, and give them the ability to participate in something like this. So, you know, we've, take, we've really taken from different parts of South Africa's genetics or, or makeup being from a stockpile perspective and also taken from, you know, cattle as a symbolism of wealth perspective. Okay, and how's it going? I mean, I understand what I said in my intro. I don't know if it's correct. It's been around since 2017? That's correct, yes. It's going really well. So uh, cattle was our first product that we went to market, uh, went out to market with. Um, I think on, on, on average at the moment, we're delivering about a 14.6% return that's net of fees per, per annum. So it's a 12 month investment. The minimum investment is 500 Rand. And after 12 months, clients have the ability to uh, cash out their investment or they can choose to reinvest their funds. So you just put in the money. You don't have to worry about uh, going to the farm and looking after the cattle. That's it. You put in the money. We partner with the best farmers in, in the country. Like I mentioned, Beef Corps has been around for the past 60 years at the moment. So. You know, if you've probably ever eaten cattle from, uh, or beef rather, from the shop rides and the checkers, you've probably eaten actually some of the, the, the cattle or some of the beef that our, our clients have invested in. Okay, so how, how do people find you if somebody's listening and said, I would, like, I would like to give this a go? We live in very tough economic times, but of course what you are achieved, what you are trying to achieve, I understand, is uh, building wealth, which is a long-term view. That's correct, yes. Yeah. So if uh, anyone would really like to invest with us, they can visit our website, which is svcapital.co.za. Um, and something that's interesting you know, for, for your viewers to, to note is our investments are actually built 
on the back of um, socioeconomic issues as well, at addressing socioeconomic issues. So the cattle investment is one of the, the alternative investments we offer, but we do have other investments. We've got a short-term investment, which is a five-month investment, which purely targets uh, project finance, um, as well as a delivery bike investment. You know, to, to make reference to uh, the point you raised, you know, just before you brought me on with the Competition Commission, um, uh, issuing a ruling, you know, the, the delivery bike investment actually gives people the ability to invest in the e-commerce space. And you invest in a motorbike, and these motorbikes are used for deliveries by companies like Uber, companies like Mr. Delivery or Take-A-Lot as well. So we are looking to give clients the ability to participate in one of the fastest growing uh, sectors since uh, COVID. Yeah, and what are the biggest risks? I mean, like any other sort of investment, uh, you, you have to look at the risk and, and, and decide how to mitigate them. Yeah, so from a risk perspective, from a, from a cattle investment, the biggest risk that a client takes is really the pricing risk. You know, we, we can't predict um, exactly how much we're going to sell the cattle for when it is ready to be sold. So that's the biggest risk that um, clients take. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we've worked really hard to try and mitigate as much risk as possible. But each investment, uh, as you mentioned, carries its own risks. Um, yeah. But, you know, we, we would term this investment a moderate type of risk. It's moderate, but with climate change and the impact we're seeing and, the, you know, this severe weather conditions affecting agriculture, uh, could, are you factoring that in going forward? We're definitely factoring it in. Um, you know, to give you an example, uh, SV Capital, since 2017, since we've been running this cattle um, investment, we've actually gone through three foot and mouth disease outbreaks. Um, and we've managed them really well with our investors and we're still um, with our investors and our, uh, and our partner farmers. And we were still able to deliver, you know, a 14.6% return on average since inception, since 2017. So, you know, the risks are there, um, but, you know, we, we've tried to manage them to the best of our ability and also by partnering with some of the best um, uh, cattle farmers in the country. Kahiso Trobatla, thanks for talking to us. That's from SV Capital. If you want to contact them, you can find them, I'm sure, as you mentioned, on SV Capital, talking about investing in capital. They partner with very reputable f uh, uh, farmers uh, like Beef Corps, which is one of South Africa's largest and most reputable uh, feed lots. Thank you very much for your time, Trobatla. So you can invest in cattle without owning a cattle, but you own a share of that business. I mean, brilliant returns, 14% since they started, net of fees since they launched in 2017.